What a great nap. Oh, oh there's my foot. Oh. There's Renji. Hmm. Hmm. People are up there. There we go. Huh? morning I was sick of looking like a hobo and uh, I made an appointment and I went and got my hair cut and uh, I, I still look like Daniel Bryan with the beard and everything else like that and I just had like an epiphany you know, I was just like you know what if I start over with some new hair maybe uh, things are gonna be uh, a little bit difficult and it's taking a little bit for me to get used to because I've been having a beard for the last uh, four or five months and all of a sudden, you know, I haven't been clean shaven in a while. So this was kind of shocking when uh, I did it. So that's what's up with that. Um, well, since I'm making this video last, um, tonight before I stitch everything together for tomorrow night's episode, let's go back and uh, look in a little bit uh, what happened in my week previous. See you soon. Ringy. Shit weasel. Get shit weasel. Jeez. Shit weasel. <laughs> kill it. Kill it. Kill, kill shit weasel. weasel. Yeah, he was awesome. Kind of a dick in real life, though. Yeah, that's what I hear. Oh, well, it's true. I was drinking in a bar all at once and just trying to steal my pile. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you could, Brett wasn't very big at the time when you know when he first came. So, home. Say hi. Hi. Two hanging out at Eagles. Ah, later. And now for something completely different. My thoughts in the dark. And you're going to be watching my computer monitor. I say those things. And, uh, let me uh, adjust this here, and here, and here, and here. I know it's not perfect, but now it's kind of my my time away from the camera, uh, a time where I can kind of speak uh, more freely more on my own and just a few other things I usually can't get off my chest see even when I'm holding back or as chest killed air or even uh, in the 52 grittiness and the realness of this I think I'm always holding something back and it really shouldn't be that way. I find myself holding back every day, not really saying how I feel. Even when I'm saying, like, this is how I feel, I don't do it. That's really sad. I had a really good memory. I was out tonight with Brian and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, I really need to get out more, and I'm glad that Brian did that. Hi, Renji. Yeah. I'm playing with the camera. But, um, <laughs> anyway, we are out with Brian uh, earlier, and on the way back home, of course, uh, we're older and more wiser nowadays than we used to be. And, uh, Brian's mom came to pick us up, and take us home respectively and we're just like you know high props for that you know 
It's better paying five bucks in gas than it is to pay a thousand dollar drunk driving fine or two five thousand on whatever it is now working like ruin your life. But uh when Brian's mom picked us up, I heard some familiar music. It was actually some polka music. It it took me way back. It took me way back uh, to hearing uh, back in Poissippi, and my grandmother used to play the accordion, and uh, she used to play polka on the accordion, and not a lot of people know that, and more people should. She was really good at it, and she used to make um, all us grandkids something called punchkas. And if I uh, remember it correctly, she called them punchkas. I have never heard of them online even to this day afterwards, but they were always punchkas to me growing up. It's more or less a fried donut is what it was, you know, fried sweet bread. But it was so good. And to this day, I always say it's the best thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. And if I ever taste them again, I know that I'm in heaven. Because, you know, that was my grandma's cooking. And it was so good. And my grandma was a good person. And she had the ultimate reward when she ultimately passed away. She died with a smile on her face. In her sleep, and I think that's the best that anybody can hope for a nice, virtuous life. Um, and those are my memories of my grandmother, and she, her and my uh, grandfather raised my dad, of course, who was the uh, youngest one of their children, and um. Uh, you know, if anybody ever says anything about my dad, is that he is a great guy. I always consider myself, if I turn out to be half the man my father was, I will consider my life to be successful and without worry. Words cannot describe the way that I uh, feel about him. I mean, it's just pure admiration, respect. And he, in return, has taught me the skills and the moral values that I continue to carry forward. Now, when I was younger, I, of course, tried to go my own way. And in that way, as I found out, was a bad way. And it didn't work out. And it's just common everyday values and wisdom and guidance and honesty 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 that he always preached over anything else is that you have to be honest not to your, to yourself but to other people in your business dealings i mean it's up to other people if they're going to try to screw you over but you have to be smart and you have to be honest and that's the main thing that I always try to carry forward right now. Especially this year as I try to be honest with myself, honest with my feelings, and honest with the way that my life is turning out. I'm not a convict. I'm not a demon. I'm not an angel. I'm not a poet. I'm just a 39-year-old man that works at a software company who has a little bit of a gift of gab, a little bit of a sh flair for showmanship and just a little bit of an artistic streak and that's what I want to carry forward I don't want to waste my life in the values that were taught to me from my grandparents my father mother and even down to me and waste that throw that away throw it to the curb stomp on it spit on it whatever you call it no, I want to make things better. I know that what I want, 
out of life is part of that. I know that what I want out of life is more than what I have right now, and I'm willing to put in the work for it. And no matter what, if I end up failing, I will pick myself up off the ground and keep moving forward and not give up and persevere and become the person that I want to be and provide the life for my future wife, children, and grandchildren. That was passed on to my, me from my grandparents, parents, and on to myself will be passed on to future generations. My sons or daughters, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. That's all for now. See you a little bit later.